So last time, I dug into religion and demonology to reveal the inspiration for Bomberman 64, the second attack's characters. I'd say it's time to get back to this game and cover the stages. I'd like to first reveal that I believe there was an error made regarding two of the planets. I believe their titles were actually mistakenly swapped, and I bring this up because the first planet is one of these two mixed up planets. It never made sense why Alcatraz would be called the Lost Planet. Perhaps it's lost since it's been stolen away inside a black hole, but that's true of every planet in the game, and it's not at all maze-like. Alcatraz is named after a famous prison, and is very clearly a prison. There's nothing lost about it. And another planet oddly has the title Prison Planet, despite that name not making sense either. But that planet will come later. I'm sure Alcatraz was supposed to be the prison planet. Fitting for a harsh prison, you make your escape through the sewers, and contend with rats and bats, as well as security guards and robots. The security guards are called BHB Soldier in English, or Black Hole Corpse Combat Personnel in Japan. The rats are called Mad Rats in both languages, however in Japanese, depending on context, it could also be read Mud Rat, which is fitting for the sewers they live in. The bats are called Blackie in Japan and are translated as Blacky, likely to avoid racial complaints from Sharpton. The robot and mech suit are respectively called Black Hole Type 1 and 2. The second planet is called Ocean Planet Aquanet. This is taken literally from Aquatic Planet. As an aside, Aquatic and Planet kind of rhyme in Japanese. This planet takes a lot of inspiration from legends of submerged societies such as Mu and Atlantis. The enemies include a sea urchin, Triton, a trident-wielding merman based on Poseidon and Neptune. You also have Froggy, a frog, or Furogi in Japan, and seals called Kuns in Japan for some reason. There also are explosive blowfish, as well as Suboku, which could translate to pot mouse or pot thing or something similar. This makes sense since Suboku is an enemy trapped in an urn. The final enemy is a giant crab, called Giant Crab. On the Sky Planet Horizon, you have Jin or Ancestral Spirit, a Jin or Genie based enemy capable of fighting with wind, and Black Bulls. Stone Guards also appear, and Harpies, mythical beasts that resemble angry women with bird wings, are made into enemies. Of course, there is also the Serpent or Snake that deeply references Ashtarth's origin demon. The name Horizon refers to the distant point where land and sky converge. Game Planet Starlight is a planet dedicated to gaming, and by gaming, they don't mean Donkey Kong arcades for days. They mean the euphemism for gambling. We're about to get the ESRB slapping comic gambling on the rating in a post-hot coffee re-rate. Overall, the planet seems loosely based on Vegas. Enemies include spin chips, spinning poker chips you kill to cash in for big winnings. Literally, they drop loads of money. You also have evil magicians who are what they sound like, except they cast fire from their wands like wizards. In America, it is a music box. In Japan, it is called Neon Jukebox. Either way, it is a durable jukebox. T12000, or 1200 in Japan, is a bit out of place. Similar number schemes are used for robots of all kinds. However, the T prefix could allude to the Terminator line of robots. Trump Knights, or Playing Card Knights, are four anthropomorphic cards you must kill of the four suits. The next planet, Neverland, is the Nature or Earth planet. At its core, this planet resembles the molten core of a living planet. Enemies include the return of the BHB Soldier, or his first appearance in Japan, and the Flame Titan. This could be a reference to Apollo, the Titan of the Sun, or another Titan. Another enemy is Hunt, or Hound Dog, and there are Fireballs. Here I have to begin translating from Japanese because Hudson never translated these planets into English. The next planet is Epicure, or Happy Land, the amusement park planet. This planet is named after Epicureanism, which is a belief in the pursuit of pleasure enjoying the worldly pleasures while you can. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow your fuse will run out and your bombs will explode. The first enemy you'll meet is named Bomb the Cat, a cat with a balloon. Another enemy is a ghost, a ghost who haunts a haunted house. You'll also find a little boy named Nightmare Child in this section. Pterodon, a dinosaur replica, prowls the museum alongside Bone Tank, a skeleton with a tank for legs. Next is Thantos, the prison planet, or more accurately the lost planet. Like Alcatraz not seeming lost, this planet seems nothing like a prison. 
The whole basis of this planet is that of a post-apocalyptic city. You have zombies and leather-bound motorcyclists called Crazy Riders. This planet has been lost. It is past saving. This is its apocalypse. Also, at an A, and Thanatos is Greek for death. A strange black punk here is called a Ripper. Likely it's supposed to be a Reaper. Another enemy is a Road Roller with a spiked rod it rolls around, as well as demonic shadow monsters called Shadow Beasts. The last planet is a warship, an ark if you will, called Noah. I don't think anybody's unaware of the story of Noah. It's nothing like the movie I've heard. Remember how the Egyptian gods Shtertoth and Mihail resemble Lilith and Rukafelth, and how they balanced Ra's boat though? You fight both of them here, and they both try to shake the universe up. This place introduces Soul Eaters, demonic three-eyed purple imps who condemn Bomberman, as well as BH Type 3 and 4. You'll also meet Cerberus, or spiritual dogs red and blue. Cerberus being a Greek three-headed dog, of course. But why were there only two? I think that about wraps up all of the hidden references in this game. Oh, but there are other games. I know this wasn't as mind-blowing as the characters, but there were a few interesting things. Plus, I'm the first person to translate the names of the enemies on Epicure and Thantos, so the Bomberman community can thank me forever. 